Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Corey. Thanks for coming to hang out with me for another Clash of Clans video. Today we're covering Town Hall 12 Lava Loon attacks. Got some absolute monster 12v12 Lava Loon attacks. We got one from Nick, we got one from Vince. And be sure to hang in until the end. The end, we're going to wrap up with an Electron by Mr. October that was actually at Town Hall 11. But his E-Drag does not get the Queen, so it's not looking good. But he manages to pull it out anyways. That's not easy to do, guys. But let's get into all these great attacks right now. Nerf this! If any of you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, because I'm doing new Clash of Clans videos for you guys every single day. Let's take a look at this Town Hall 12. First of all, this thing is, like, fully maxed, all right? Maybe a few Town Hall 11 walls left, um, but look at that. Look at this, guys. This is max, max base. Uh, very, very nice. He's going to come in with a Sui Lalo attack. And one of the things that makes it easier to do a, a mass Lalo attack on this is the fact that he's running all single target Infernos. Uh, three multi target Infernos is really rough on loons, you guys. Uh, force you to really bring a lot of extra heals to get it done. So when somebody's running singles like that, really can open up that attack, that base to a Lava Loon based attack. And another thing that makes it nice, this guy's got an old school design from like when 12s first came out because you see this town hall is on the outside of the base now if you're at town hall 10 or town hall 11 or any other town hall really that's fine but at town hall 12 that's a big no-no because that town hall 12 is a massive weapon all right the giga tesla the giga bomb it's a devastating weapon instead of just being the town hall it's also a ton of value to be able to take out with sui heroes like nick's gonna be able to do right here tons oh my gosh and the queen is on the outside of the base are you kidding me this guy was begging begging to get hit with lalo he put the queen right next to the town hall both of them accessible uh by sui heroes oh my gosh that uh stone slammer ate two black bombs immediately there but you know what it's not gonna matter he got so much value from that sui getting the town hall down and the queen and a few other you know less important defenses as well um, but really opens this thing up to a big circular Lava Loon attack. Nice. Bringing it in from all sides there fairly evenly. That way, this group would be forced into the core. Get that Eagle Artillery down. He still hasn't used his Warden ability yet at this point, guys. Still has the Warden ability. And I don't even know. Over 20 Loons left in there. He has so many Loons. Pop that Warden ability on the way into a Wizard Tower there. So they didn't take any splash damage. Didn't take any damage from Red Bombs that are usually by Wizard Towers. And to heal into that final section containing that very last wizard tower guys this base was crushed so hard so super hard i mean you know that doesn't look like a huge pack of loons but look how many loons are in that pack you can't even tell they're grouped so close together but there's got to be 15 20 loons left up base is super wrecked absolutely demolished by nick good job identifying that this base was going to get crushed by a lalo by giving up so much value from those sui heroes crazy stuff you guys crazy all right let's get into this next attack because that base is already wrecked gonna be another beautiful lalo attack this time from vince this one's gonna be a little bit trickier this guy's not gonna give up as much sui value as uh number one was there you will see he's actually got his town hall tucked inside the base a little bit so it can't be gotten just by easy sui heroes um so he's actually gonna sui his blimp right over here look at all the value he's gonna get from that just the excuse me not the blimp but the stone slammer and a rage taking out that whole section of the base really creating some pathing due to this extra dead space back here and getting that cc pull as well gonna pull it out here with one archer just to get those troops out there gonna drop a poison on it and then a baby dragon you always want to draw it out with an archer not a minion if you're doing a baby dragon kill because if you draw it out with a minion and then you place your baby dragon right next to that minion your baby dragon's not going to have the benefit of that rage because it's going to be right next to another air troop but if you draw it out with an archer the baby dragon alone will become enraged in conjunction with the poison it can kill pretty much any cc out there um so sui heroes coming down baby dragon also kind of got rid of these buildings right here or maybe the slammer did but it really created a nice funnel to make sure that your heroes are going to path in this way um 
looks like they'll be able to reach a wizard tower from in there and possibly that enemy queen as well so once again giving up not as big a sui value um but if if he actually manages to get the queen on this that is that's still pretty huge you know not as big as the town hall and the queen but still pretty big value and it looks like his queen's gonna step up pop her ability grab a wizard tower the enemy queen probably grab this grand warden too now he's coming in with lalo from up top let me pause this just for a second because i want to let you know he got plenty of value from the sui and from suing that uh that stone slammer in there with those loons and the rage he got a lot of value but one thing he didn't get is the town hall maxed out town hall i know i say it all the time guys but for any of you guys that don't see a lot of my videos or haven't heard this before um that town hall will kill your loons i don't care if you have it in a heal i don't care Care what you do the only way to save your loons from this town hall that he's going to be ending on when that giga bomb goes off is going to be the warden ability so he has to hope that his warden is going to stick with his main pack of loons all the way through to the other side of the base without hitting any black bombs and dying or getting targeted and dying because he really needs to save that grand warden ability for this town hall um so a little bit of a nail biter hoping that your warden ai doesn't you know screw you because a lot of times it does um very nice freeze down on there now aside from that giga bomb that giga tesla does massive damage to five targets at a time so freezing it there really helped save those loons for quite a while Woo. so that that uh warden ability wore off right before that giga bomb went off but i believe that haste helped them get away just fast enough that they weren't all killed although it, it, it did a lot of damage to them um <laughs> crazy that warden ability might have worn off halfway through that bomb going off because every other time i've seen them get hit by that giga bomb with no warden ability uh it's been instant death so i'm not sure what happened there but it looked like that warden was just a tiny bit too early but either way guys this base is wrecked beautiful town hall 12 triple by vents and i know the walls are not max guys but those defenses sure were so uh defense wise guys this was another maxed out town hall 12 and vince just rushed it very nicely done guys let's get into this electron i was telling you guys about by mr october here um of course since then he's changed his name to octogram because you know we in whf love messing around with name changes um but check this out guys he's sending in his electron Ooh, covering it up with the hound he wants that blimp to get deeper and when you cover it up with the hound you can get that blimp quite a bit deeper into the base only thing i don't like is the fact that this sweeper is working against that blimp and that makes it super hard to determine where that blimp's gonna pop and it can really limit your e-drag efficient effectiveness as well so that's going to be a big part of the reason why that e-drag goes down it didn't kill the dragon it didn't kill the queen granted the late the rage loons did some work in there maybe got a chain off and took out a ton of, of uh base right here you know we got a lot of value as far as defenses but for not getting the cc killed and not getting the enemy queen killed the enemy queen's the big one because guys on electron you don't have enough spells left over to bring you know raged skelly spells to kill the queen you're counting on that e-drag nine times out of ten to kill that queen for you unless your sui heroes can reach it as well so he's got an uphill battle that he's facing right now um i'm not sure where he planned to start his lalo from on this base originally but if you all of a sudden have to kill a queen that you were hoping was already dead that changes your lalo plan a lot of times a lot of times you got to start on that queen side you got to go heavier with hounds and loons than you would have otherwise done um to hope that you get a loon drop on that queen or or to hope that maybe some of those pups will, will help get her down so you have to go a lot heavier from her side to try and get her killed um as kind of a last ditch effort and so he starts from that queen side and he got lucky she stood right on top of an inferno tower there and a loon drop got her uh, very nicely done so like i said i don't know if that was originally the side that he was planning on coming in on uh but if you all of a sudden have to kill a queen, you got to change up your plan a little bit. You got to go faster, heavier from that queen side, trying to get her killed. Because if you don't get her killed, you're in big trouble. Um, but there you guys go. This base is wrecked. Had a, you know, not a great opener. Not a great opener. Definitely want to get that queen down with the Electrum, but managed to save it. Very nicely done by Mr. October. So 
hope you guys enjoyed these attacks. I know I sure enjoyed all of them. Uh, and if you guys are new to the channel already, if you haven't already subscribed, smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, but also check out the details below all my videos. If you click that little arrow to show more, to expand the details down, you're going to find links to all of my social media in there, including my Discord server, which is hands down the best place to get a hold of me. In there, you're also going to find a link for WHF Family Recruiting Discord server, okay? Yeah, WHF is an amazing place to clash you guys we're always recruiting max 12s 11s and 10s so you know with that i hope to see you guys in whf family uh i hope to see you in my discord server but either way guys i will definitely see you in the next video Nerf this.